Coming up, I'm going to show you how to set up the two Apple search ads campaign that's going to really allow you to scale. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is your boy, Steve P. Young, founder of Rapmasters. Dot com, the place you go when you want to learn all about the ways about growing your app downloads and obviously, more importantly, your revenue. Now, in part one of this Apple search ad series, I showed you the campaign structure and we actually set up the exact match campaign. And in this video, I'm going to show you the two campaigns that are really going to allow you to scale this marketing channel. Shall we get to it? Now, let's look at, look at the screen. As you can see, here's our campaign structure. Just a little reminder, exact, broad, search match, and brand. And these two campaigns that I've listed under discovery, where we're letting Apple do most of the work, these are the two campaigns that I've personally found to be scalable. The exact match, you're probably gonna hit a ceiling because obviously, unless you add more keywords in there, you're gonna hit that ceiling. But the broad match and search match, since we're letting Apple do most of the work here, these are the two campaigns that if you're looking to scale, these are the two campaigns that have allowed us to particularly scale while not going crazy with the cost per install. Another reminder is the exact match campaign tends to convert. So this is from tap to install. That's the conversion rate, the best. Whereas broad and search match tend to perform less effectively because Apple is trying to find out new keywords. They're going to maybe hit or miss, you know, on some keywords. And so roughly about a 20%. Sometimes we even seen as low as 17% on these two campaigns. So you want to set a pretty conservative cost per tap in the very beginning and just see where they end up going. And then you can eventually increase that cost per tap. All right, let's set up these campaigns. First thing you want to do is tap on the create campaign. We're going to set up the broad match first, and then we'll set up the search match. Just know sometimes Apple does load very slowly. So, so keep that in mind as you start optimizing, creating these campaigns on your own. All right. We're going to focus on our moonlight app, just like the first one. Search results is the main one. We're going to focus on the country again, one campaign per country, unless they're smaller countries and you want to batch them all together. But I prefer to see it in this type of structure makes reporting a lot easier. I'm going to continue. Now this is the broad match. So I'm going to put broad us. And then, you know, you can put a budget again, reminder, you can go as high as you want for this. If it's a test budget that you want to run and let's say you have a thousand dollar test budget, you might not want to put a daily cap, but if this is a campaign that you consistently want to run and say you have a two to $5,000 budget, then, you know, you can budget off of that. And so typically I put like, you know, 50,000 on here because we don't want it to, well, let's see much. We don't want it to run out of money. And then maybe, you know, depending on your budget, anywhere from $50 to whatever you want to put in the broad match, or I'm sorry, the ad group name is going to be the same as the campaign name. Now, again, these campaigns tend to convert more at 20%. So depending on your cost per acquisition goal right now, we're saying it's a $2 cost per acquisition. So that means that we can only afford to pay 40 cents. That's $2 times 20%. That gives us a 40 cent cost per tap. So that's, it's pretty low given that, you know, Apple search ads is going to get a little bit expensive. So the higher your cost per acquisition goal can go, the higher your cost per tap can go as well. But you know, it depends on the category as well. Some clients we've been able to really achieve that $1 cost per acquisition, whereas others, you know, we're paying anywhere from three to $5 cost per acquisition. There's a CPA goal. You can leave that blank typically. Now I have heard from others that, you know, when you put that in, Apple is going to actually try to meet that goal, but it also limits your visibility. So if you have a very, very tight budget and you really want need to hit that cost per acquisition goal, go ahead and put it. But for the most part, I leave it empty. And that's what Apple suggests as well, because it will actually limit your visibility on the search ads. We're going to turn this off because that's what the search match campaigns is all about. I'm going to add these keywords. Now, for the sake of this campaign, we only have four different keywords that we're going to be targeting. All right. I have these keywords right here in a text file. I'm going to add them in our previous setup. In part one, we changed this to all exact here. We're going to leave it on broad. All right. I'm going to hit save. Cool. The next thing you want to do is add group negative keywords optional. We definitely want that. We're going to put the same four keywords on here as negatives. So this is telling Apple that don't go after these particular keywords. And we, this is important. We need to set these on exact match. So if somebody were to search on here, I'll change, look at these. 
background noise. That's it. We're telling Apple, do not show this particular campaign, all right? But we want to find other keywords that are related to background noise. So maybe it's nature sounds and for sleep sounds. So if somebody is searching for this, these exact terms, this exact phrase, we want Apple to show our exact match campaign where we can be a little bit more aggressive. But here, because these are negatives, Apple is gonna say, okay, don't go after these keywords. Think about a broad match for sleep sounds. So what are other keywords that are loose, loosely tied to sleep sounds, that phrase, All right? So I'm gonna hit save. Again, I want this to be only new users. All platforms are fine and hit create campaign. All right, the next campaign we're gonna set up is the search match campaign. And it is, is very close to our broad match campaign with no keywords this time. So I'll show you how to set this up right now. All right, same thing as usual. We wanna find our app, Moonlight, the app itself, search results, US, continue. All right, now we're gonna do search match. And then I'm gonna go US. Again, high budget, so I'm gonna put 50,000. See? And then put like a smaller budget. So depending on whatever your daily cap needs to be, what your monthly budget is, you know, go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna put search match. Here we wanna be conservative again. On average, we can see anywhere from 20% conversion rate all the way on the high end, about 35%, 30 to 35% conversion rate. So if you wanna play it safe in the very beginning or you wanna be super aggressive, go with that 30% conversion rate, but if I'm gonna play it safe, I'm gonna go with that 20% conversion rate, okay? So I'm gonna play at that conversion rate of 20%, which means 40 cents is all I can afford to pay. Here's where this is the only time on this particular campaign is when we actually leave this search match on, all right? So that's on. We're not gonna add any keywords here. For the purposes of this video, I only have four, but you wanna add all the keywords from your exact match campaign here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. And just like we did in the broad match, broad match campaign, we're gonna make sure that these are on exact match as negatives, okay? So we have the four on here, no keywords, and search match is on. Devices, fine. Set this to new users, and then create campaign. And that's it, guys. This broad match and search match campaign from our clients and from our experience, we've seen this particular campaign be the campaign that allows us to scale. So how do you scale? Well, you can do a couple of things. You can increase your cost per tap. You can increase your daily budget, or you can increase the keywords that you are trying to optimize for. And yet we're always, for one of our clients, we are trying to actually scale search ads because we've seen so much great numbers come from it. And so it is really coming up with different types of keywords and we're running test campaigns on certain other keywords that are loosely tied to the app and we're being, we're being pretty conservative with that. All right, in part three, I'm gonna show you all the advanced tricks. So how do you really decrease cost per acquisition and some campaigns that you might wanna test out for your particular app if you're looking to scale. All right, I'll see you in the next video.